Tia. Like any nine-year-old of her age is a dreamer and wants to fly. But Tia spends many nights suffering from cough and breathlessness. Both her parents are working and have a busy schedule. They find it difficult to manage her daily asthma medications at various schedules. They lack adequate training for administration of medicines. She misses school on many days, that follows the nightmare of her episodes. Tia has been an asthma patient since she was a five-year-old. Uncontrolled asthma and COPD, is the topic of discussion today. Like Tia, approximately 42% of Indians suffer from symptoms like difficulty in breathing, wheezing and cough every night. Impact of asthma and COPD on their quality of life is huge. Estimates on impact on quality of life, obtained from Indian Ostomatics are shocking. Patient reported occurrence of episodes with other serious outcomes in asthma and COPD patients. Had to go to the hospital. Had to stop playing or exercising. Had to leave work, or school. Put in an ICU, in a hospital. Non-adherence is an important cause of uncontrolled asthma. Approximately 50% of adults and children on long-term therapy for asthma fail to take medications as directed at least part of the time. Reasons for non-adherence and lack of compliance with inhalers or other therapies. Difficulties associated with inhalers, require training for correct use of inhaler, deposition of 50 to 80% of actuated dose in oropharynx, drug does not reach to small airways which are already constricted in asthma patient. Failure to coordinate actuation with inhalation and to hold breath after inhalation in pediatric and elderly patient. With dry powder inhaler, rapid inhalation promotes greater deposition in larger central airways only, drug does not reach to small airways. Complicated regimens. Fears about, or actual side effects. Sleep is a very vulnerable period for ostoma patients. Pulmonary function and symptoms frequently worsen, between midnight and early morning known as the morning dip. 4 am is the time frequently associated to exacerbations. Chronotherapy based on the circadian rhythm is the answer to prevent morning dip. Introducing Tuloplast patch. The patch contains tulobuterol along beta, 2, adrenergic agonist, LABA. Pulmonary function and symptoms frequently worsen between midnight and early morning which is known as the morning dip. Oral long-acting beta-2 agonists, LABA, or sustained release theophylline can provide sustained action only for 12 hours. Tulobuterol patch applied at bedtime. Prevents morning dip. Sustains drug efficacy over 24 hours. Attains peak plasma concentrations early in the morning when pulmonary functions are highly impaired. Leads to minimal systemic adverse effects as drug is released in a controlled manner. The Crystal Reservoir System Tulobuterol patch, consists of three layers. Innermost layer of, non-woven laminate and, a polyester for, gradual transmission, of the drug to the skin, without discomfort, or excess moisture development. The middle layer, of drug matrix, of polyisobutylene rubber for, efficient adhesion, effective penetration, sustained effectiveness of drug. The outermost liner made of silicone, and modified polyester for, protection of drug matrix, sustaining drugs, efficiency rate lengthening the therapeutic effect when applied to the skin molecular tulobuterol is gradually absorbed percutaneously additional molecules are supplied by dissociation of tulobuterol crystals into a molecular and absorbable form once molecules in patch decreases tulobuterol patch finds a place in the guideline based management of asthma 
Japanese Guideline 2017 recommends ICS or LABA in adults and children below 2 to 16 years of age. GINA 2017 recommends ICS, or LABA in adults, adolescents, and children between 6 to 11 years of age. Place of tulobuterol patch in COPD management as per gold guidelines. Use of tulobuterol patch LABA either alone, or in combination with long-acting anticholinergic or ICS is recommended, in patients belonging to category B, C, and D with greater symptom burden, and risk of exacerbation. Tulobuterol patch is an ideal labo for combining with ICS in actual clinical practice. Proven clinical effectiveness in adults with asthma. Significant increments of the morning and evening peak expiratory flow rate, PEF, in a dose-dependent manner, reduction in use of rescue medications, improvement in symptoms and quality of life. Proven clinical effectiveness in adults with COPD. Significant improvement in morning and evening PEF values and quality of life. Morning PEF improvement over 12-week treatment period with tulobuterol patch and inhaled salmeterol in stable COPD. Dosage regimen. Children 6 months to 3 years. 0.5 mg. Children 3 to 9 years. 1 mg. Adults and children's greater than 9 years. 2 mg. Tulobitrol patch to be applied once daily. Most recommended time of administration is either evening or at bedtime, to avoid morning dip. Not recommended in pregnant women or children below 6 months of age. Choose apt area for application like upper arm, chest, and the upper or lower back. Healthy non-sensitive areas that are clean, dry, hairless, and free of redness, irritation, burns or cuts or lotions oils etc. Devoid of tight clothing or belts. Upper back is ideal for children and adults, elderly with mental impairment. For adult, upper chest is ideal position for self-application. In the presence of hair, do not shave, trim it as close as possible to skin. Clean chosen area only with clear water. Remove the tuloplast patch, from the pouch carefully by cutting, and opening at the indicated side. Remove one side of the protective liner. Do not touch the sticky layer exposed. Apply sticky side to the chosen area of skin. Peel off the other side, of the protective cover. Press the patch with the palm, and hold there for at least 30 seconds. Make sure it sticks well, especially at the edges. Make sure that patch is flat against your skin, with no bumps or folds. At the time of removal gently, pull on one edge of the patch, and remove. Disposal Fold sticky sides together. Slide into empty pouch. Throw in trash can. Wash hands thoroughly with soap and water immediately to remove adhesive. Tuloplast synopsis. Ideal for pediatric and geriatric patients. Excellent for long-term therapy for ostoma and COPD. Effective controller of morning dip. Improves treatment adherence. Crystal Reservoir Technology Improvement in Quality of Life